my family, the editor of the Sun Tablet, owned by Rupert Murdoch, Victoria Newton, was invited to BBC News for a segment with BBC's Laura Kunzberg to speak about phone hacking and, of course, about Prince Harry, where she said on TV, tablets don't hack phones anymore. We can't do that anymore. We can't. We just can't. We can't do that anymore. My family, however, what she didn't say on TV is that she herself, she herself, who is a close friend of King Charles, has already been accused of alleged phone hacking at her main paper, The Sun Tablet. Allow me to read you a headline from Byline Investigates about The Sun Tablet editor, Victoria Newton. And I quote, The Sun's editor, Victoria Newton, allegedly wrote hack stories in her previous job at the Daily Mail. You know? And she already has been accused of alleged phone hacking at her main paper, The Sun. And the editor has been repeatedly named as an alleged phone hacker in the High Court. My family, but BBC gives a platform to people like Victoria Newton. I feel so frustrated and angry, even when I see the BBC reading out front page headlines from Daily Mail, The Sun, The Mirror, Express. I feel so frustrated because they, the BBC, my family, which people in Britain trust as a source of information are lending or giving credibility to these tabloids that spread bigotry, hate, and division and lie so much whenever my family they read out headlines in the Sun Tabloid, the Mirror, Daily Mail, and Express, and even whenever they invite tabloid editors like Victoria Newton who is the editor of the Sun Tablet to come on TV and start talking about Prince Harry. My family, I feel so angry whenever I see them being invited, in particular, to the BBC. Because I know people trust BBC News as a source of information in the UK. And my family... Kindly allow me to show you what she said, my family, on BBC News, on a segment with Laura Kunzberg, my family. Please, kindly, family, hear this, please, you know? Quickly, but he also, the talking, though, of that rocky history, there are still rocky relationships we know in the royal family. Prince Harry flew in this week and then disappeared very quickly. But he also, Victoria, settled his legal action against the Mirror this week. And his fight, the fight between Prince Harry and the, and the newspapers goes on. We know there is also a case against the newspaper group News UK that you're a part of. And we can't get into the legal details. But can you assure our viewers that the kind of practices we've heard about, the kind of practices Prince Harry has complained about, can you assure people that's come to an end? It doesn't happen anymore. 100%. Obviously, as you say, I can't comment on the ongoing cases. Um, but, you know, I've been editor for four years now and um, I've never covered stories on Prince Harry. It wasn't my, my bag going back. It goes back a long way and it's absolutely 100% not what happens today. Do you think Harry... <laughs> my family, let me kindly pause there. Let me kindly pause there. My family, according to an investigation by Byline Investigates, my family, they have revealed themselves that Victoria Newton, my family, already has been accused of alleged phone hacking at her main paper, The Sun Tablet. My family, why can't the person who was asking Victoria questions, Laura, why can't she confront 
Victoria Newton, first of all, by telling her, you have been accused of phone hacking yourself. What do you have to say about that? Also, don't forget that Harry is suing, as you've heard, he is suing my family, the Sun tabloid. Harry is also suing the company that Victoria Newton represents. News Group News Papers. For serious, serious criminal allegations, you know, phone hacking, unlawful gathering of information, which of course, news group, newspapers denies. My family. However, after how they've seen Harry winning his court case against the mirror, my family, of course, they're afraid of Prince Harry's court case because Harry's court case is going to expose them. My family, after Harry won his court case against the mirror, you can be sure he will win his court case against the Sun Tablet in which the editor is Victoria Newton. Harry will win the case. Make no mistake about that. You know? Sadly, the case has been constantly postponed. And my family, I want that case to happen as soon as, as possible because I do know that Harry will come over to the UK to be cross-examined. My family, he wants to hold these individuals accountable for their actions, accountable for engaging in criminal, illegal activity. My family, somebody has got to stand up against bullies. And I'm happy that person is Prince Harry. And clearly, the papers are afraid. They're afraid of Harry's court case. They fear Prince Harry. My family, however, kindly don't forget this, even from Harry's words. When he and Meghan fled the UK, Harry had no intention of pursuing legal cases against these tablets. He had no intention whatsoever. But because they went after his wife, his son, him, even after they fled the UK, still my family, they have kept on harassing him. Going after him, Megan, and even Harry and Megan's kids. My family, Harry, decided to finally fight back. And now, my family, you are hearing them scared, afraid of Prince Harry's court case. Harry will stand with you. And Harry, you are doing the right thing. Standing up to bullies. My family, you know, and Victoria Newton is a known liar. I mean, my family, I think her credentials speak for itself. She works, you know, at the sun. She works at the sun for Rupert Murdoch. And my family, you don't get a job at the sun tablet. You don't get a top job. At the sun tablet, if my family, you are someone who has morals, if you are someone who has a moral compass, you don't get a job at the sun tablet, my family. You must be someone who does not have any morals whatsoever and must be willing to stoop so low for you to get a job working for Rupert Murdoch. And my family, that is a fact. That is a fact. So my family, don't take the words by Victoria Newton. Oh, phone hacking doesn't happen anymore. My family, she's a liar. She's a liar. And already, they've all been exposed. Harry won his case. They've all been exposed. And right now, they're defending themselves, defending each other like they always do. The time has come for those who've engaged in criminal activity to pay for the pain they've caused others, to pay for the pain they've caused Harry, Meghan, and even Harry and Meghan's kids, Archie and Lilibet, they're my family. Kindly please continue hearing 
my family, but also Victoria Newton, my family, went to lie on my family BBC News. My family, can you please hear this? You know, my family, please. And it's absolutely 100% not what happens today. Do you think Harry has still got the sort of right to be this cross with how the press behaved if things have changed? No, I don't. Um, but I think he's also cross with lots of people. He's really cross with the courtiers. He's really cross with his brother. He's really cross with his father. He's, he's angry with the world. And um, it's a shame that he, he still bears so much anger despite all that therapy. I personally My family, that, that was supposed to be a dig at Prince Harry. My family, which leads me to this question. Does Prince Harry have a right to be angry with the UK tabloid media? My family, we have a thousand reasons, a million of them even, to say and clearly agree that indeed Harry has every right in the world to be angry with the UK tabloid press. First, they chase, they pay paparazzi to chase Harry's mother to her death. Harry has suffered all his life for losing a mother, a mother who truly loved her son. Harry has needed therapy because of losing his mother, because of the actions of the UK tabloid media and the farm, of course, my family, and the farm, of course, who also took away Diana security. My family, Harry, and then after his mother died, the public was so angry about what happened, about what was going on. And my family, they saw Harry's tears. They saw Harry's, you know, sadness, actually. In my family, Harry's sadness. He was so sad at uh, his mother's funeral, my family. And the public devoured developed an interest in Prince Harry's life. And then the media that chased Harry's mother to death then called Harry the new Diana. And then they harassed him as well. The palace and the media had an agreement, a deal, that when the kids were in school, that they would be left alone. UK media never honored that agreement. My family. In fact, in Harry's memoir spare, Harry tells us, for example, of how the tabloid media on their front page said Harry cheated in exams. In school. My family. A lie that Prince Harry wanted to correct. But told, was told, but also by the royal family and courtiers, don't do it. Harry even wanted to my family have a press conference to say he did not cheat in exams. He was told, don't do it. He listened. My family, but the damage was done. The damage was done. If it was the heir who was being accused, my family, I can tell you for a fact, that headline, you know, Harry cheated in school, would never have appeared even on the front page of any tablet because the heir was protected, the spear was not. My family. And they kept on harassing Harry all his life. Every girlfriend that Harry had, UK media played a huge part in chasing them away. My family, that is what UK media did. They played a huge part in chasing all girlfriends Harry has ever had away from Harry. And then when Harry meets Megan and falls in love with Megan Markle. UK media also target Megan. And within eight days into Harry and Megan's we relationship becoming public, Harry has to issue a statement condemning racism against his then girlfriend Megan. Within eight days, eight days, eight days. You know, my family, but the media. We'll go on TV and say, we welcome Meghan Markle. We welcomed her. We welcome Meghan Markle. We are so good with her. Then if you are so good with Meghan Markle, then why did Prince Harry, within eight days into his we 
relationship with Megan becoming public, why did he write or issue a statement condemning racism against his then girlfriend Megan Markle? Why? 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 You know, how he falls in love with Megan, UK media begin abusing Megan Markle. And also my family, you know, making voices comments, you know, towards Megan. My family. And they've continued to do that for many years. Even my family after um, Harry and Megan fled the UK. My family, when Harry and Megan got married, and UK media kept on attacking Megan, Harry's wife. The woman Harry has fallen in love with my family. The son who lost his mother at such a young age, my family, and then finally found love, found happiness. You would think the media would back off and finally leave Harry alone. They did not. And they still have not. They have kept on targeting everyone Harry loves, from Megan and even to Harry and Megan's kids, Archie and Lily Badana. But my family, they're pissed off and they're wondering why is Harry angry with us? Victoria Newton is saying that you know Harry is angry with the entire world. Does Harry not have a right to be angry after all the pain you've caused him? Victoria Newton. Does Harry have no right to be angry? You know, after everything you've done to Megan. Does he have no right to be angry? A few weeks ago, you were bullying his daughter over a name. A name! A name! Lily Bet. A name meant to be my family, you know, a tribute to a grandmother Harry loved. My family. Harry clearly loved his grandmother. And you bullied his daughter, Lily Bet, who was biracial over a name. Because you don't view her as worthy of being named after the late Queen Elizabeth. Her nickname was Lilibet. My family. Because other kids in the royal family are named after the late Queen Elizabeth. UK media have never thrown a fit over that. But they targeted Harry's daughter Lilibet. My family, but they're asking, why is Harry angry? Why is Prince Harry angry? Why is Prince Harry pissed off? They abuse his daughter, his son, his wife, him, Prince Harry himself. And then they ask, why is he angry? Why is he pissed off? Why is he angry? They ask, why are you angry, Harry? Victoria Newton is wondering. Why Harry is angry. My family. She wonders. They've chased out. Megan. And made her flee the UK. Okay. They never expected Harry to live with her. But still. They chased away Megan. Out of the UK. And the family. They wonder. Why Prince Harry. Is angry. Why Harry is pissed off. That even after. My family, you came to play a huge part in my family, you know, chasing Megan and him out of the UK. My family, you media wonder why Harry is angry, why Harry is pissed off at them. You know? And also, don't forget that Harry and Megan lost their unborn child. They lost their unborn child. Partly because of the actions of the UK tabloid media. Of harassing the woman Harry loves. Of putting Megan through so much stress. My family. You know? And they wonder, why is Harry angry? Harry lost his mother. Lost his unborn child. My family. Almost lost his wife. Still actually, UK media want Harry to lose Megan, my family, as they keep on calling for divorce between Harry and Megan. They want Harry to lose his wife. They also want him 
to lose even his kids, Archie and Lil Pedana, my family, I think you've heard what Phil Dampier said, you know, maybe Harry, was trying to get away from Archie, Lilibet, and Megan. And that's why he flew over in the US, the UK, so fast to come and see Charles, who was diagnosed with cancer. My family, they're saying that because they're hoping that that is the case. That Prince Harry wants to abandon his wife and kids and pick Charles, William, Kieran Camilla, and leave Megan Archie Lipidana. So they also want him to lose his family. Megan Archie Lilibet. And they ask, Harry, why are you angry? Why are you angry? My father, why are you angry? You know, they want her to lose people who truly love him. You know, for people who have worked with people who've abused Prince Harry, who've abused his own son. My family, which brings me to an article written by Victoria Newton herself, my family. You know, after, you know, the queen passed away. My family, here is what Victoria Newton said about her friend, Charles, my family, her so-called father. And I quote, I, Victoria Newton, the editor of the Sun Tablet, was with Charles on his last working day as the Prince of Wales, and he hosted me with typical generosity. My family, remember the deal. You invite editors of tablets to wine and dine with you. You get good press. Charles is whining and dining with individuals who abuse his own son. <laughs> But Harry can run all the way from the U.S., can fly all the way from the U.S. to the U.K. to come and see his father. <laughs> Harry loves his father. Harry loves his father. And honestly, I can't say that Charles feels the same way, but Harry loves his father because after all this stuff that you keep on seeing, that is so open, you know, of Charles whining and dining with people who abuse his son, you know, his son's wife, his son's kids, and then he invites them to parties. <laughs> My family, you know, Harry loves his father. Harry loves his father. And then they boast about how Charles, you know, was so generous in inviting them to his place. My family, you know, let me just read you some stuff that Victoria Newton family, that Victoria Newton said about meeting Charles. And I quote, When I met Charles at Duffy's house, in Scotland on Wednesday, he was still hit at H, the Prince of Wales. My family. That was before the Queen passed away. And then she wrote after the Queen passed away. Little did Charles know when we spoke, the next day he would be king. And that 24 hours later, he received the worst news possible that his beloved mother and our adored queen had died and the nation was plunged into mourning. I saw Charles on what was to become his last working day as the Prince of Wales before he rushed from Asia to his mother's bedside, bedside in Balmoral next morning. And with typical generosity, Charles hosted me to learn more about some of the amazing stories of medics nominated in our Who Cares Wins Awards. In our Who Cares Wins Awards. My family. You know? My family, people who abuse Charles' son are invited to see Charles. People who go after Harry and Meghan are given top role honors, like what happened to my family. You know, his name is Jason North, who was awarded a top role honor by William 
for what? For basically, you know, being the one who was trying to destroy Meghan Markle on behalf of Prince William to hurt Prince Harry. My family, you know, you know, my family. First of all, let me just clap for Meghan Markle. I want to clap for Meghan Markle because my family, you've seen how Meghan Markle, after everything that has happened to her, at the hands of Charles, at the hands of William, my family, Meghan, doesn't bother to come and see them. After all the hell they put her through. Because Meghan is done with them. Meghan is done with them completely. And she's living her life in America. And I applaud Meghan for that 100%. Look at how Meghan has dealt with Thomas Markle. Even if that person is her father. The moment he joined in. In abusing his own daughter for money. Meghan was done with the guy. The moment that Thomas Markle handed over a letter from Meghan Markle to Daily Mail that Daily Mail used to abuse Meghan Markle and lie about Meghan Markle and bring Meghan in a negative light, my family, Meghan, was done with the guy. My family, honestly, let me just say this. I wish Harry would fully do the same thing with uh, Charles and William. Allow me to say that. Allow me to kindly say that I wish Harry would do the same thing with Charles and William. Even if you love them. You know? It's important to keep your distance rather than put up with disrespect. My family. You know? It's important to keep your distance from people who are hell-bent in showing you enormous disrespect. Keep your distance from those kinds of individuals. My family, and really, you know, I know it's hard for Harry because my family is someone who lost a mom and uh, he never ever wanted to lose the only parent that he had left. But after all, the enormous disrespect that Charles keeps on showing my family. It's better to keep your distance over putting up with the disrespect. My family. And that's why I was even more happy when Harry went back home to Meghan Archie a little bit after going to see Charles. After Charles was diagnosed with cancer my family. I was happy that Harry went back home to Meghan Archie a little bit as soon as possible because my family, that's a family who love him. His family who love him unconditionally. You know? And Harry, I pray and hope he always protects that. And never allow his the farm to destroy his own family. Megan, Archie, my family, and Lee Padana. You know? So my family, I think we can all agree that Prince Harry has every right in the world to be angry and pissed off at the media. Even right now, even though Harry fled the UK and has been living in the US for four years now, still, UK media won't leave him alone. Won't leave him alone. My family, they keep trying to separate Harry from Meghan, Archie, Lilibet. Even right now, my family, there is an ongoing case, you know, whereby this right-wing think tank called Heritage Foundation is trying to get Harry deported on behalf of the UK media. To please the UK media. As they keep on trying to, to split Harry from Meghan, Archie and Lepitana. Because they're so desperate to have Harry back. Even by force. My family. So Harry has every right in the world to be angry. He has every right in the world to be angry. They abuse him. Abuse his wife. Abuse his children. And then wonder why Harry is angry. My family, Harry has every right to be angry with the UK media. And I do love that my family, Harry, is holding them accountable for their criminal activity. My family, please, can you please hear my family, you know, also 
this part of my family, what uh, Victoria, my family, Newton, the liar, said, my family, He's please. also cross with lots of people. He's really cross with the courtiers. He's really cross with his brother. He's really cross with his father. He's, he's angry with the world. And um, it's a shame that he, he still bears so much anger despite all that therapy. I personally thought it was brilliant that he flew over to see mm. his father. Despite their very difficult relationship, it gives reason to, to feel optimistic that the two of them can perhaps repair that, which I think our readers certainly want. Mm. Um, they want the whole family to be back together. Um, and I thought it was, it was great of Harry that he did what any normal person would have done and jumped straight on the plane as I did when I got that same call in California that my father had cancer I jumped on the plane even though he said don't bother so well done Harry and well done the king for taking the time to see him from his busy schedule we all know he does not like changing that diary <laughs> but they did so maybe this is a reason for hope. talking though is that my family there are still rocky you know I want you to hear that well, my family she stayed and my family, yes, Harry did the right thing. He did the right thing to come and see Charles. But let me just tell you, my family say this, that for as long as the UK media in my family are allowed to operate, in my family, you know, not responsible manner, in an unresponsible manner, there will never ever be healing or mending of any kind of way between Harry and Charles, my family, that is not going to happen. For as long as you can meet the keyboard abusing Prince Harry, Meghan, and Harry Meghan's kids, there is never ever going to be any kind of healing or mending of any rift between Harry, you know, and Charles and William. For as long as you can meet the keep on prioritizing their need for drama. Oh, our readers want to see Harry reconciled. With uh, with Charles, you can meet. They don't. The tablet don't. What they want is to see Harry losing Meghan, Archie, Lilibet. What they want is to see Prince Harry losing his wife Meghan and his kids. You know, through a divorce. That's what you can meet. They want for her to go back and follow William and Kate Milton around. That's what they want. For Harry to do the hard work and then William swoops in and takes credit for Harry's work. They want Harry to be under William's control. That's what they want. Control over Harry's life. Future, destiny. That's what they want. Control over the pennies that Harry receives. That's what they want. To control the money that Harry receives. That's what the farm wants. That's what UK Media want. My family. But most importantly, what they want, what the farm wants and UK Media want is to destroy Prince Harry and Meghan's life. My family. That's what they want. And my family, I hope the farm and UK Media never ever succeed in the evil plots against Harry and Meghan. My family, I hope that they never ever Succeed and also before you forget, my family. I almost forgot this. Don't forget that it was the Sun Tablet, you know, under the editorship of Victoria Newton that permitted Jeremy Clarkson to publish his column, whereby my family he incited violence against Meghan Markle, the woman. Harry loves. The mother of Harry's kids. But then they ask why is Harry angry? Why is he angry? Why is he pissed off? Harry has every right in the world to be angry. After all the hell the UK tabloid press have put him Megan, Archie Lilipet, his mother through. My family, Harry has every right to be angry. My family. Even someone under BBC comment section while they posted the video that my family, I just showed you, said this. You killed Harry's mother. You tried to kill his wife. You attack and abuse his children. 
all while turning a blind eye to his older brother's shenanigans because he was born first. And you don't think that Harry has a right to be angry. My family, don't forget that Meghan thought of taking her own life. And also Meghan Markle said in the Harry and Meghan documentary, and I quote to the media, and I quote, you are making people want to kill me. To the Wikimedia. Because of the hateful rhetoric. And the lies that the Wikimedia write. About Meghan Markle. Is bringing out the worst in people. Racism. Hate. Misogyny. And my family still. Victoria wonders why Harry is angry. My family. You know. If you can really think that Prince Harry will allow them to get away with the criminal activity in peace, Harry will not. Harry will not. You know? Harry has a right for family to seek and secure our accountability and also legal consequences for those who break the law. My family. You know, I think I've said enough. Now you tell me, you are just about what we have just discussed. Harry, thank you for always fighting to protect Megan Archie Bedana. You're a good man. Please always do that. Never change. And never ever stop being good. Keep being a good man, a good father, a good husband. You know? And keep fighting. For the safety of Megan Archie Lipetan, like you are doing. Fighting in court to secure adequate, effective security for your family. Harry, you're doing the right thing. But Harry, also, your father whines and dines with people who abuse you, Megan Archie Lilibet. I know you love your father, but also sometimes it's better. To have distance with those you love rather than put up with enormous disrespect. Look at Megan. Look at how she has handled those who have treated her so supportingly. Look at how Megan has handled them. Megan has kept her distance from them and never ever speaks with any of them. You know, and my family, I know it's too much to ask really for, for Prince Harry or for really for anyone really, but for the sake of your mental health, what I can say is in, it's important really to have distance with those, even though you love, treat you appallingly, keep your distance and don't tolerate or put up with disrespect. My family, now tell me, you are just about what we have just discussed. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Petana, Andrea Fraglan, and all of you members of Squad at Home. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you, always and forever, and may God bless you, all my family. And also, don't forget this that in every country that Harry goes through, goes to my family. Be it the US, be it Canada, be it my family in the Netherlands, or Bristol of my family, Harry is shown enormous respect. People have seen what he and Megan have been through. And they are showing their, their love and support for Prince Harry because they know he's a good man. My family, now you tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. My family. May God bless you all. And stay tuned to our next video. My family. Love you all forever and may God bless your family. Harry was right when he said that our country is judged globally by the state of our press, our press and government, both of which I believe are at rock bottom because indeed my family they are at rock bottom. In my family, you know, I'm happy that Harry is protecting his family. He's doing a remarkable job, my family. 
with and so much more. Stay tuned to our next video. May God bless you all my family. Love you also forever. Hate never wins. Love wins and stay tuned to our next video my family. Love you also forever and may God bless you all my family. Keep praying for Harry Meghan and keep praying that Harry Meghan always make the right appropriate my family decisions you know as they have been doing. Keeping your distance is important. Even though you love someone, keep your distance from those who treat you or show you enormous disrespect. Those who whine and dine, who will bully you, abuse you, are not your friends, are not family. You know, they're not. And I hope that Harry is always surrounded by people who love him. Both he and Megan are always surrounded by those who love him and wish them well, not those who wish to sabotage them. Stay tuned to this video. Love you all forever and may God bless you all my family. Hello, members of the Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.